Hi everybody, welcome back to Living Our American Dream. Today's project is going to be installing a generator backfeed interlock on my electrical panel in my house. About two years ago I did a video and it's called, uh, I think I numbered it 041 uh, PTO power generator. I'll put the name of that uh, here on the screen. But that video has gotten a lot of views. Um, I firmly believe that a power takeoff powered generator, if you have a, a small tractor, is a great way to provide backup power to your house. In my case, I got a lot of uh, bad feedback on the breaker setup. And the only thing missing from that breaker setup is this. So we're going to install this today. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. But the way this works is your generator back feed breaker is. Uh, at least on the Square D home line panel should be located right up at the top by the main breaker and all this interconnect does is it does not allow you to engage or back feed the generator breaker without turning off the main. Alright so I'm down in my basement now and the first thing you have to make sure you do is you gotta make sure you get the right kit for your panel so I've already looked at my panel this is a Square D box, um, a home line box and that kit is going to go, it's going to bolt on to right here. And it comes with all the screws and everything that you're going to need. Um, I should let you guys know, this breaker is actually my generator breaker. Uh, this breaker feeds my garage. And we're going to have to change those. So I'm going to have to have uh, the generator feed be on this side and the other one. So I'm, I'm hoping there's enough cable in here that I can reroute this stuff. Um, to, to deal with that. All right, so we're gonna get this thing set up here and I'm gonna show you guys what's in this kit. So we unbox this thing. It looks like we have two brackets. We have a hole drill template in out of steel. We have all of the screws that should go with it, a couple of stickers, and then instructions. So there's two parts of this. The first part is out here, and the second part is inside. There's a retaining bracket that goes on the breaker. I'll show you that in a minute. They give you this uh, template. You have to turn the panel over on its back side. And all I'm doing is following the instructions here. It said turn, the pa turn it over on its back side. It's got this bracket here. And I drilled three holes per instruction using the bracket. Take the bracket out. The next step is to re-drill these holes to a 3 16 So we're going to do that now. So with the hole pre-drilled, the drill should follow the hole nicely. The next step on here was to turn this thing over after I pre-drilled those holes and after I've drilled the holes and then remove the burrs which what I did is took a larger drill bit and just very gently operated that drill bit just a little bit on each hole and that cut the burr off. And you don't want to drill it too much because you'll end up with a, uh, a cut into the side of the hole. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to install the interlock bracket using shouldered screws provided in the kit. So we're going to lay this over the top of here just gonna put that through there one at a time and it tells me to tighten these to 35 inch pounds now 35 inch pounds for any of you guys who are not familiar with torque values is not really that much 
typically torque if you're an automotive guy or something like that would be expressed in foot pounds so 35 is pretty close to 36 to use easy math we take 36 divided by 12 to get foot pounds that's going to tell us about three foot pounds now three foot pounds is very little, very little in terms of uh, In terms of torque value, now we've got a 5 16 This one, this shouldered screw right here is going in a little bit crooked, so I'm just going to go ahead and screw it through the hole. Um, the back side of each one of these gets a 5 16 nut, and all I'm doing is hand tightening them for now. I'll set the back with this wrench. And I'll just give these nice and tight with my hand with a screwdriver. I doubt hardly anyone is going to measure the 35 inch pounds of torque value. Now, we can see what's going on here now. So what's gonna happen is this thing slides up and down and it's down here like this and our actually you know what I'll explain it when we get it reconnected downstairs all right so in my case this breaker on the left right here in the middle of the screen is where my generator used to be now this kit only works if it's on the right side the number two and number four positions so off camera I had to reroute these red this red wire and this cable right here uh, down to this breaker and this other one this big gray one here comes down and this is it feeds my garage actually so I just switched positions of those two and we got it in the right spot now this metal bracket that's here uh, this is a retaining bracket and the only thing that thing does is make sure that that breaker does not rock in there in other words it makes sure that the breaker can't rock out of position and allow you to have both of these on at the same time so let's put the cover back on and I'll show you how it works okay so I got the cover put back on now let's take a peek at what this thing actually looks like so our main is at the top and this is my generator breaker. I've relabeled the side. You can see that over here. I've relabeled these so you can kind of see those. Um, but anyway, when you go to interconnect the generator, in order to make sure that the main power is off, you have to move this bracket out of the way, otherwise, you can't switch this on. And this is my generator breaker that would back feed my panel. So what you would do is you would turn the main off. You would slide this bracket up out of the way and kind of hold it there. Then you can turn that breaker on. It's just a very simple um, interlock way uh, to make sure that you are not back feeding the utility. Uh, additionally you can see to the right here a little bit there's a little wiring diagram that they provide that I put on the inside of this panel for you know if anybody ever needs to come use this that's not me they understand kind of how it works if they can read the diagram um, but anyway power comes back on uh, you decide you're gonna go back to the grid you can go ahead and turn your generator off slide your bracket back down turn your main panel back on well, that about wraps it up, guys. I appreciate you watching this video, and I hope uh, maybe you learned something. I do intend to reproduce and recreate that other generator video. Um, yet determine if I'm going to delete the other one or not. Um, I may just try to figure out how to connect them, so if you see one, you see the other. I may even name them almost the same thing, something. But I want everybody to see... Uh, if you don't watch the entire video of the first one, and actually, you know, I think it's about the nine minute mark, you have to, to, to watch through there to understand uh, that interconnect where you have to turn the main off, 
before you turn your other breaker on. Otherwise, you could back feed. Um, yeah, other than that, again, I appreciate you watching this one. And I appreciate everybody that's been subscribing to the channel. I know I have not put a lot of content out this year and this summer. Um, but I promise you, there's going to be more things coming. So um, I guess uh, that's it. We'll see you on the next one.